Hello friends, welcome back to All Unknown Law. Today I'm going to discuss about the markers of Hep B. That's a Hepatitis B. Okay, so this is the topic. Markers of Hepatitis B. Uh, this is a kind of a revision for you for preparing for your USMLE examination and for other board examinations. So before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and uh, please do share our videos with your friends. We do have many videos in our channel. Recently we started uploading uh, videos from cardiology, from uh, ophthalmology and nephrology. So I would request you to subscribe and please watch our videos and share our videos. Okay guys. So let me start with this and let me be fast on this. If you want to know very well about the hepatitis B, you can type hepatitis B search in a YouTube by MRCPCH team you will get in our channel. Okay guys, so please do share our videos. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to discuss in the three pattern that is the test, results and interpretation. Okay, so the test, results and the interpretation. I'm going to give you the test. And you, uh, I will give you the results of the test and you need to interpret what's the condition of the patient is. Okay, that's done by you. And that's from me and that's from me and interpretation is by you. But definitely at the end of this video, at the end of each uh, test, I will tell you the results. Okay guys, so let me start with this without wasting much time. The condition for the first patient, the case scenario will be a very big, but the, I'm going to sh cut short it and I will, I'm going to tell you only two things, three, uh, result, the test and the results. Okay, test is H, B, S, A, G. Okay, H, B, S, A, G is negative. Okay, anti H, B, C, anti, anti H, B, C is negative and anti h b s is negative okay so if this is the condition of the patient they give the history in the usml step on examination and they ask you about the interpretation or the results or a diagnosis you need to tell me now you tell me what is the condition of this patient the condition of this patient is yes yes it's a susceptible you can say the patient is susceptible to hepatitis B, Hep B infection. Okay, guys. So these are very important. Okay. So let me. I, I don't find. Okay, now let me go with the next question for you. Okay. Clear. Let me change the color. Okay. Now the next is same. I'm going to discuss with the H B S A G anti h b c anti h b s in this condition the second scenario where the patient has hep uh, h b s a g is negative okay minus mark is for negative remember uh, this is for understanding over here and the anti HBC is positive and anti HBS is positive. Now you tell me what's the diagnosis of this patient. Can you guess? Okay. This the interpretation of this case scenario is look at this the HBS AG is negative anti HBC is positive anti HBS is positive means he's immune due to natural infection he's immune due to natural he's immune thus we know that he's immune to natural infection okay guys so this is about this scenario okay next let me go on to the third one where s b s a g okay anti H B C and anti H B S. In the third case scenario, 
the HBS AG is let me change the color so that it can help you to memorize very well okay and the uh, uh, HBS AG is negative okay anti HBC is negative but the anti HBS is positive so what's the interpretation of this uh, condition tell me okay now the answer for this is he's immune that's what we know okay right but he's immune due to hep B vaccination is immune immune but due to hep B vaccination okay but due to vaccination you can call it as this is the case scenario remember that if the patient has a HBS AG negative anti HBC is negative but the anti HBS is positive then he is immune to vaccination immune due to vaccination hep B vaccination means he has received the vaccination okay if the patient has a HBS AG is negative and both the anti HBC and the anti HBS is positive means he's immune due to natural infection why because to get the anti HBS exposure means the immunity against HBC antigen there has to be an infection in the body so that's why when there is anti HBC positive it means it is due to the immune due to the natural infection okay guys hope you're getting me now the fourth case scenario is HBS AG anti HBC and anti HBS let me change the color let me use the yellow okay guys now the in the fourth case scenario the HBS AG that is the HBS antigen is positive okay and uh, the anti HBC is positive okay and anti HBS anti HBS is negative okay okay so the other thing what I want to give you is anti IgM IgM anti HBC let me write here here IgM anti HBC okay Mm? IgM anti HBC is positive. So, what's the condition? So, the answer for this question is yes, is he is acutely infected. He is infected, we know, but whether it's a chronic or the acute, he is acutely infected. IgM indicates this is very important over here. You can see over here, this is really very important that IgM is elevated, it indicates he has an acute infection. If you see anti uh, HBS. AG is positive means he is infected. If you want to say is acutely F infected means you need to see for IgM antibodies that's IgM. Okay, that indicates he is he's having acute infection. If you want to know that's a chronic, look for some other what do you call a IgG. Okay, but let me twist and turn and let me ask you the next question. That's really very interesting. Okay, guys. So let me start with this. The in this HBS. AG anti H B sorry H B C anti H B C can see here right but uh, let me write here I G M I G M anti H B C and anti H B yes okay so let me give you the conditions and let me start with this the anti the HBS AG is positive okay is positive anti HBC is positive okay IgM anti HBC is negative and anti HBS is negative so now tell me what is the condition of this patient okay so this can be a question in the USML examination or other medical board examinations so tell me what it's gonna be it's nothing but 
HBSH is positive, it has an infection, right? Anti HBC is positive, it has an infection, right? So he has fought for the infection, you can say. IgM is negative, it means he does not have acute infection, but he has a chronic infection, chronically infected, you can say. Chronic, 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 chronic. Okay, guys? Chronic, 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 chronic. Let me say it, say it. Okay, guys, did you get me? Good. Let me move on to the next and the last topic. Okay. H B S A G is okay. Let me tell you later. H B S A G anti H B C and anti H B S. Okay, now the change, change, change color. Okay. HBSAG is negative. Okay. The anti HBC is positive. And anti HBS is negative. Negative, positive, negative. Now you tell me what's the interpretation. This is really very important. Okay, guys. This is really, really very important. So there can be a four possibilities for this. Okay. There are four possibilities. One, it could be a resolved infection. That's the most common. Okay. The other thing can be, he can be a susceptible because of the false positive anti-HBC or low levels, uh, low level chronic infection, you can say, or resolving acute infection. So there are four conditions. By this result, you will get the four conditions. One, it could be a most common. It can be a resolved infection. Or second, it can be, thus he can be a susceptible due to, if you get a false positive anti-HBC. And low levels of, it can be a low levels of a chronic infection. And a resolving acute infection can be there. Okay, guys. So this is all about this um, markers of Hep B infection. I hope you, you get this helpful. And uh, this is going to be very helpful for your USML examination and for other board examination. Please do share our videos and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for your love. Take care.